Today, we're going to look at doing Fector's Challenge on Journey of the Prairie King, that is, beating the entire game without dying. Also, we're going to see what it's like to play the game if you can afford to buy every upgrade along the way, and that's realistically the only way I'm ever going to complete Fector's Challenge. And obviously, I'm going to cheat to do it because I just don't have those skills. Now, starting a game, three lives, no upgrades. If I press G right now, we suddenly have... Perhaps some basic upgrades. We have three lives, but we have, most importantly, 999 coins. Also, for whatever reason, using this mod puts it onto hard mode right away, so I have to do this in hard mode, which kind of makes it a little more even, but it's still very, very hard to do, mostly because those imps show up now. It's not so bad once I make it to the first set of upgrades, though, because I'll be a little more powerful than all the enemies, because for right now, it's still quite easy for me to die, even with everything I have going on. As long as I get a little bit lucky with the upgrades, it shouldn't be too bad, but I did try and do this before, and I, I ended up dying a lot. And the final boss on hard mode is actually really hard to do, so I'm really going to struggle at that part. And the pressure is really going to be on, because if I actually make it to the end of it without dying, well, that's going to be something. I think it was only the end of this level that I need to make it to in order to get my upgrades. And like I said, once I get those, this whole thing gets a lot easier. It's actually the first two levels that are about going to be the hardest. And then the final boss. Anything else isn't really going to be a big deal to me. I'm going to keep that power up the wagon wheel in the upper left for when things get a little bit intense. I'm actually going to use it now because I kind of zoned out for a second and was worried I was just going to die. I still have a habit of going for those coins. I need to get rid of that habit. It's those situations, it's so luck based, like if the imps come when you're like tucked into a corner, there's not really much you can do about it. Almost done this level though, and I think we get the upgrades at this point, so we'll be able to see our first set of upgrades and things it is going to be miles easier. We've only got a hundred coins to spend, or over a thousand I believe it is, so we'll start with the most expensive ones. Should this screw up, we at least want the ammo. This one makes my gun fire faster, the ammo makes your guns do more damage, and these make you move a little bit faster. Which historically I've never been a fan of, but it's growing on me. Now my guns fire this fast and they do more damage, so enemies clear out quicker and I have less hazards in my life. When I did this before, I definitely died a few times just being really, really careless because you get overconfident and assume you can't die. This level is normally very easy. The enemies all cluster up on the outsides of this, but being that those imps can fly around in crazy directions, it gives things a little more challenge. There are going to be a big annoyance, and I'm getting a lot of them early. I really want that wagon wheel. Okay, we're just going to do this for now just to play it safe. I really, really don't want to die here. And that's the last one, and we get more upgrades every two levels. So now we get even more powerful bullets. These might be the piercing ones now. This will be a faster firing gun, I believe. I might have that backwards. Yeah, we're firing that fast now. We'll take an extra life just because we can. We do only have five. And honestly, like I said before, the last boss can kill you almost instantly. We'll play it very safe with this guy, very safe and boring, but we're doing so much damage anyway that he'll die very quickly. Especially if I can get him to stop right over here. I think I can kill him right now. So that's what the upgrades do for that. It makes the bosses way easy. That boss was easy. The levels are still going to be pretty hard. As long as I avoid the imps, we'll be okay. I think one more upgrade and we're pretty much sitting safe for this whole thing. I'm going to use that coffee right away. Normally these levels are really, really hard to do. But with all my upgrades now, it's not too bad. I just got to be careful not to move into the enemies. 
We'll get swarmed with so many. We'll hopefully get some upgrades, some power ups. We'll always keep a wagon wheel on stock if we can. I didn't actually check my luck for the day. I don't know if I have uh, unlimited luck on or not. I totally just used a power up there when I didn't really have to, but I kind of panicked. I'm starting to get nervous because I've actually made some progress into the game and don't want to lose it. One death is all it's going to take. I have to touch one enemy and this is all ruined for me. There's another rare 5 coin. We got another upgrade already. I thought that was like the last level. Anyways, this one, the 99 gun, is one you're probably never going to be able to afford in the game. This is just a power up it's going to give you. I think that's all the upgrades at this point. I cannot get any more upgrades. I'll just buy extra lives and sheriff badges every time now. But my gun now does this permanently. So as you can tell, that's pretty overpowered. All I really have to do is sit in the center and go like that, and things can't really get to me that well. That doesn't mean I can't die. This is still going to be a struggle, but my bullets should pierce. There's three of them, and they're going at a very quick rate. As long as I'm still paying attention, which I should be, we'll be all right. I've had a lot of coffee already. This is one of those things that I've wanted to do for a long time. I've just never really been very good at Journey of the Prairie King. So of course I had a mod made to make me seem good. I do need to remember I have a Sheriff's Badge though too. If I get in a bad spot again, I can use that and things are good. I couldn't imagine doing this without all my power-ups and upgrades. Might as well grab that since it's here. Uh-oh. Oh. oh, that was close. I actually thought I was going to die there. I'd actually accepted it in my mind for that brief moment. We get some sheriff's badges though, why not? We'll take two of them, there's no point, I'm just wasting coins. And we'll take an extra life, we're up to 10. So at least we'll beat the game at the very least. At least we'll beat the game at the very least, you heard that right. Okay, here we go with another boss. This one again won't be too hard to do, as long as I play it carefully. You just kind of got to lure him out and be careful about how you do it. But one of those bullets and that's going to be the end of me. Just can't make him peek. I don't know what he's doing right now. I don't really know the patterns of this one. Oh boy. I don't want to talk about that. Now he goes out and stands there. I totally got caught on his stump because I wasn't paying attention. Well, I guess the pressure's off now. I can kind of just focus on playing, but that's still really annoying. I made it all the way here. Well, I'm not going to restart now. I've come too far. It's too late in the day for this. Look how much damage I do to him, too. All I had to do is not be an idiot there. That's the key to my success. Don't be an idiot. And one more shot. He's dead. All right. Well, let's go pick up an extra life. We'll pretend that didn't happen. How about that? But think about this, if you're playing regularly, your bullets probably aren't going to kill anything one hit like I am, so that would make it so hard to do. Because right now my bullets I think kill everything one hit, and they also pierce through things, so they'll keep going once they kill something. More upgrades coming in, same thing again, more of the sheriff's badges, we're just buy these again, because we can. This level seems kind of tricky, but the tombstones kind of get in the way of everything anyway, so it's not really that bad. Especially because I can shoot through them and enemies can't move through them, you really just use that to your advantage.
This level is a little bit intense. But still not so bad. I mostly just hold my position in the center and don't let anything get close to me. Really hoping for a lucky power up on one of these two. Nope. Okay, here we go. Now, he fires a lot of bullets in all sorts of crazy directions, and it's very hard to deal with. I don't know his patterns because I never play against him. Oh, this is going to be tight. Nope. Okay, well, I would have lost two lives anyway along this whole thing, so not a big deal. I should have been firing at him the whole time. I was mostly worried about dodging bullets. Wow. Three lives lost. Three even with all the power-ups possible. Well, that was the final boss, but that would be a nightmare. I need to figure out a better pattern for fighting him if I'm ever going to do this on hard mode. I don't know if he does the same thing on easy mode. But that's it. Journey of the Prairie King, done. That's what it looks like with every upgrade on hard mode. Obviously, still very hard to do. But we're not quite done here yet, because we've got one more thing to take a quick look at. If I press Shift-G... It basically gives me like super, super, super powers. So I move super fast, I fire bullets really fast, and I fire in all directions like that. I think this basically puts upgrades through the roof on level 10 or something. Definitely only possible with mods, but that's what this looks like. You actually move so fast that it's counterproductive. But I don't know how many bullets I'm firing per second. It's a lot. This would be a good way to defeat the final boss, but it's definitely cheating. And good luck doing that without dying. This was just a curiosity of mine. I wanted to see what it looked like if you actually had every possible upgrade for Journey of the Prairie King. So there it is. Totally did that without dying.